there's one thing you can count on from brew watches, it would be a watch you never saw coming. The watch world tries to predict what many brands will do with their next release, and some of the time they are right. Not in a hundred years can anyone predict what Brew will come up with next. The latest release from Brew, the metric, is what we'll be looking at today. Brew's watches are a constant evolution of their retro-inspired design ethos. When you take a look at the metric, or the recently released 8-bit variation of the retrograph, you know the watch you're looking at is a Brew. Grind yourself some beans and brew a fresh cup of coffee? Let's take a closer look at the Brew metric. The metric is closer in size to the Retromatic than some of the other watches from Brew. It comes in at 36 mm wide, with a lug to lug of 41.5 mm and a wrist to crystal of 9.5 mm. I can hear the voices of those with larger wrists saying that the metric is way too small. To put it bluntly, you're wrong. The shape of the case gives the metric a little more room to breathe on your wrist, and combined with a bracelet that tapers straight out of the gate from the lugs, this watch wears closer to a 38 to 39 millimeter watch. It shows that Brew properly prototyped the size of the metric to give it the correct proportions that would satisfy wrists of all shapes and sizes. I've handled every watch Brew has released with the exception of their first watch, the HP-1. However, I have seen Brew's attention to detail and level of finishing increase significantly with each new watch. Just when you think Brew have outdone themselves, they go and do it again. There are a few elements on the metric that help it stand out and give it a little flash. The fully milled clasp is not something you see on every $350 to $400 watch, and I'm glad Brew went with the double push button clasp as it fits the design of the bracelet perfectly. The bracelet itself features chamfered edges that flow into the case, giving it a cohesive and almost integrated look. The applied markers on the dial feature bevels that help them pop out from the sunburst dial, and Brew have perfectly nailed the coordinating colors on the hands. The half-skeletonized hands vibe with the markers, and the entire look gives the metric a sporty, yet slightly dressy feel. Something that is sure to be a point of contention, and most certainly a love it or hate it aspect of the metric, is the dial layout. Brew opted for an asymmetric dial layout that features a running second sub-dial at 6 o'clock, and a minute totalizer for the chronograph at 10 o'clock. Instead of squishing their name or logo at 12 o'clock, the Brew Coffee Bean logo is placed at 3 o'clock. I like the different take on a chronograph dial layout, and while I'm sure there is another chronograph out there with a similar dial layout, Brew have executed it here to perfection. The only element of the dial that I feel is slightly misplaced is the date window. I'm not a fan of 430 date windows as it is, but when combined with the sub-dial layout, it feels out of place. I won't call it an afterthought, because I know it isn't, but I would love to see a metric without the date window. The metric has the Seiko VK68 Mecha Quartz movement under the hood. For those unfamiliar with this movement, it is a standard quartz movement, hence the ticking second subdial, but it has a mechanical chronograph module on top of the quartz movement. This gives the metric that smooth sweeping chronograph hand with that nice tactile feedback from the pushers. I've always disliked what I find to be a useless 24 hour subdial on Seiko Mecha Quartz movements, so I am extremely happy to see it omitted from the metric. The metric may not be a watch for everyone. It is certainly quirky, with its asymmetric subdial layout and retro looking case design, but that is part of what makes brew watches so much fun. They march to the beat of their own drum while still finding a way to stay mainstream. It goes to show the talent in design that brew has going for them. If you're even close to being on the fence about this watch, get off the imperial system and give the metric a try. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for checking out the video review of the Brew Metric. For more reviews, head over to watchclicker.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.